we're going to be looking at some different questions related to sum to infinity. Now, some questions may ask, we may look at it and say, okay, we might probably need to use my limiting sum for that question. But not all questions will just give you a nice geometric series and tell you just use a formula. Okay, it's not going to be that simple. Some questions will be a little bit different. Okay, so if we take a look at the questions. Now in question one, so it says express 1.4 recurring as a fraction. So if I want to do that, okay, so 1.4 recurring is another way of writing 1.4444 all the way. Okay, now again, we want to try and use the fact that we know how to find the limiting sum, okay, to express this as a fraction. So how am I going to do that? So I'm going to say that that 1.4 recurring is the same thing as 1 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.04 and so on, okay, until we get this looking thing, okay, which looks like a geometric series. Okay, so we have to try and write it like this, okay, so we can see that only this portion is in geometric series, okay, that one is just an extra value, okay, so we're going to be working on finding the fraction of a, sorry, finding the limiting sum of my recurring decimal with some extra value there, okay, so I want you to be careful, you're going to uh, look at it and make sure that we are finding the correct uh, limiting sum for the geometric series. So we're just going to be looking at the portion inside of the brackets and we can see, okay, first term is 0 0.4 and my common ratio is 0 0.1. Okay, so common ratio is less than 1 or in between negative 1 and 1. So this is, or this has a limiting sum, which means we can use my limiting sum formula. So let's try and do that. Summing in all my values into my formula. Okay, and don't forget, okay, we want to still answer the question for 0 point, sorry, one point for recurring, okay, equals, 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 we can't forget that one, okay, equals, keep the one, and that's the uh, limiting sum for the bracket there, okay, so don't forget the one. So simply, if we put this into our calculator, 13 over 9 is my fraction. And again, if we're not sure if that's right, just put that in your calculator and see if the decimal gives you 1.4 recurring. Now, if we take a look at question, uh, the next one, so express 1.23 recurring as a fraction. So first thing I should do is try and write this without the notation of my recurring. So 1.23, 3, 3, 3, 3, Only the 3 is recurring. Okay? And again, I want to try and split this up so I can get a geometric series. Correct? Now, how am I going to split it up so I get a geometric series? Well, I'm going to have 1.2 to start off and just try and add all my recurring bits. So 0.03. 0 0.003 and so on. Okay, and from there we can see only this portion is my uh, geometric series, and which we can also see has a limiting sum. Okay, so that 1.2 is just an extra value. Now, from this uh, geometric series here, we can see the first term is 0 0.03 and common ratio is 0 0.1. Okay, so this has a limiting sum. So, limiting sum okay, is my formula. And let's just put it all in. Okay, so like we said, we found the limiting sum for just a bracket, that little geometric series. Okay, so we can't forget that we still have a 0 0.2 there. So just put that into your calculator, and my answer should be this fraction. So 37 over 30. 